Three people are hospitalized tonight with life-threatening injuries after a falling from the border wall near San Diego. <laughs> a detailed description of the rescue was not available, but one person was airlifted to the hospital. Build that wall. 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 For the second time in a week, a person has fallen off the border wall in Sunland Park and become seriously hurt. Authorities say it happened near the port of entry in Sunland Park. Just look at that helicopter on scene. That man had to be flown from the scene to University Medical Center. On Wednesday, a migrant woman was also severely hurt after she fell off the wall in a similar area in Sunland Park. Fire officials tell ABC7 that rescue operations for migrants hurt falling from the wall are becoming more common in the area. Mexican officials say Donald Trump's border wall is killing migrants in San Diego County. Carlos Gonzalez Gutierrez is the Consul General of Mexico here in San Diego. He says 80% of all migrant injuries along the border happened when people fell off the 30-foot wall. It's an incident healthcare workers know all too well. Migrant families climbing the wall at the U.S.-Mexico border hoping to get a better life. However, climbing over that 30-foot barrier can result in serious injuries and sometimes even deaths for migrants. <laughs> Dr. Tenorio has witnessed the consequences firsthand. As a neurosurgeon inside the trauma care unit, he knows the dangers. Debilitating injuries, some people even paralyzed. You dumb motherfucker. <laughs> However, I, will, I do want to tell you that those men that we captured jumping from the top of this wall, they dropped from the top of this wall, were either lucky or skilled enough to be able to walk away, but many are suffering injuries. Let me show you the moment a migrant climbs a barrier, jumps, dusts himself off, and casually runs into the bushes. This happened just a short while ago while we were standing here. However, earlier today, a 30-year-old migrant woman tried the same maneuver, but plunged to the ground head first. <laughs> A frightening situation for this pregnant woman found sitting at the top of the barrier on a small ledge only about six inches wide, just off of a busy El Paso highway. And leaving the migrants up there, leaving the migrants to fall so they do not face consequences. Fire crews brought her down to safety. You stupid, ignorant son of a bitch, dumb bastard! What seems to be most common and, and most memorable to me is people who have complex fractures of their ankles, the lower leg and where it joins into the foot, that, that leg, foot, ankle complex. But there's a lot of dumb motherfuckers out there. There's a lot of dumb, dumb motherfuckers out there. And uh, these are actually very devastating uh, fractures. It's almost every day we get somebody injured from falling off the border wall. <laughs> 2020, we saw 125. It's increased last year to 265 border wall related injuries. To put things into perspective, doctors comparing these injuries to falling from two or three story buildings. I like traumatic brain injury uh, to the brain itself, which they can present with a coma. And these are usually long lasting type of injuries. We see pelvic fractures, rib fractures upper extremity injuries, but predominantly what we see are the lower extremity injuries. One in 10 patients that we get from the border wall falls has a spine injury. Are you stupid? We have seen several who have obviously fallen from the wall and made their way into the city and they can't take the pain anymore. For the most part, they uh, have to ask for assistance. And, and uh, it, it, some of them are amazing to us as how they made it as far as they did with the injuries that they have. In 2017, the Trump administration started raising sections of the border wall in San Diego, Arizona, and Texas to as high as 30 feet. It came in an effort to secure the border and keep people out. However, by 2019, the number of high severity injuries at the border wall increased fivefold.